Not new. Robin here. Cost me homestead. I'm trying my best to do some repairs on some equipment around the place. It's been broke for a while. Our little side by side, the engine toasted. So I went and purchased a new one and we're going to swap them out and start the process today through the week. Maybe we get it done. Next project is going to be my tractor. I got some leaks on it I got to work. Y'all going to follow me on that and we're going to uh, repair that too. So it's the way it works when you got equipment on a homestead. Always got to work on something. This is a uh, trail wagon. It's a W, it's a TW 400 trail wagon. From Tractor Supplies, ball second hand. The engine wasn't in the best shape when we got it. It lasted, we babied it. It lasted, it just gave up. Put a new starter on it. We lost so much compression, just wouldn't start no more. So, I bought a new engine for it. And uh, we're going to hopefully, we can just take this one all and swap that one in its place because. One of Harvest Freights, and it's supposed to be actually a, a smaller equivalent, huh? Equivalent to equivalent it, huh? to uh, the Honda that we're replacing it with. So I'm hoping it is. I'm gonna have to do some wire modifications or something, but I hope not. So we'll see. First time I've tried to swap a Honda engine for another engine. But we really need this machine. It's got a dump bed on it. It's got a winch on the front. Yeah. It's really saved us a lot of back braking work. It just work. has no power. In, has no power left in it either. So it smells like a tar kettle when it was running. Burnt so much oil and uh, had no power. So like I said, it, it bit the dust. So we're going to try to fix it. I gotta wrap my tools up, so I'll be back in a few minutes. How'd you pay for the engine? Was like some demo app or something? Press and drive, press and drive. Dang it. Come on. Let's go. What's trying to do? Take your clothes off. Take your head off the ground. That it? Let's see. Oh, look, we can put a seat here. We can put a seat right there and have a four seater. Hey, you wait. 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 Hey, you That thing, flywheel or something? It's actually, it's a centrifugal clutch. I'll explain it to y'all. Um, all right, I'll give you an idea what the belt does. This thing turns, it keeps it balanced, okay? And it stops. Back here, here as it spins, this pulley where this belt is, opens up and the belt, it causes the belt to get tighter. And this one pushes in to also make it get tighter. So they work together to pull tension on the belt as you go faster with the end. Cool, okay. So this is weighted. These are little weights. One of them fell off, I had to put it back on. But that's what that does. Okay. Trying to get the motor off? Yeah, there's a, 
uh, bracket over here is going to come off. Oh, it's electric now. Gas powered. It's Wind powered. That's why we clean it. Let's see what the capacity of oil is. There it is. Oh, look. That's the carburetor parts. Oh, I'm all at the big gas tank. It's a metal yes, thing, too. I can grab it somewhere. I cut my hand, whatever it was. That's a nice engine, man. We gotta have to keep this thing in a lean to. Keep the starter and everything. We don't have to order that. <laughs> Is that good, mommy? And we'd have to order it. Because this one's this one look good. I just figured out to get the rest of the clutch off the input output shaft. There's an Allen heading them into the shaft, and it screws the end of it out. Ratchets. Hey, it's bone dry. <laughs> it's supposed to be. I want to put. I got some anti seize in there. I think I should put on it. What do you think? And it keeps it from doing this, rusting and seizing up on there. I really didn't have that hard a time getting it off of there. It's this thing's been sitting up, and then it's been sitting up wherever the guy had it. Looks like it's sent the same. Yeah, I'm fixing to see if it's been with this is fine. Yeah. And drop it. I thought you were going to get the tail. I want to sit here for the night. Keep that wet. Let's set the bed back on it or something. I don't know if it's going to go on. Yep. You know if it's going to go on. It might not the with tank. the tank on it. You may have to go that way. Yeah, go, go that go way. Go to the front. They go in there. Now. Here. Set it right here. Lay it down. Okay. Look, pull the front out this way. One minute. I'm going to tuck that in there. Watch your knuckles. Your knuckles are right there. Ow. We got two tanks. Tyler, now watch. problem. That bed go right here. We're going to another tank there. We'll use that soon again. Come on. We can rig up both tanks. Is, it, is there a way we can do that? If there's a way I could put a Y in, I could. Okay, down here is where the choke cable goes. But I had to take the breather cover loose so I could get to it. So I was hang tight and I'll see what I can do in the video, what I can by myself. Trisha's canning, so she can't help me at the moment. So I got, v I got six nuts underneath here. There's four in the middle. It's the closest I'm taking loose because that's where the actual engine is. I don't need to take the anti vibrate, the anti balance, or whatever they are off there. See, you got the rubber grommets. I don't really need to take that off. But I'm taking these other four off. So. All right. We're running through a hiccup. This thing 
my choke would not hook up properly. So I had to take this little bracket off of the old carburetor and put the old carburetor housing on here so the car so the uh, choke would hook up. So now my dilemma is this is the throttle cable and it has an eye on it. And this is a little prefab nut that's in there and the screw is not quite gonna handle it. So I may have to take this throttle arm off of the old engine too and put on here. It's the same, it's just this hole here's a little different. So I'm gonna see what happens. All right, let me show you what we did. Uh, instead of changing this little rod here, I went and got a longer screw and some fender washers so that would work and it works good. And then we got the cable hooked up, got the old cover bracket on there. I got it when we kill it with a switch. We just got a pull start right now until I get the battery replaced. So, Levi and I fixed set the bed back on. Tight this had to be. Don't tighten all the way because the lock nut is, it has to pivot. All right, I guess it's done that good. It's not tight, but it's not loose. All right. We got it running, got it moved, but it would only go in reverse, so the shifter cable broke completely, so we got to replace that now. So until we get that in, it's going to be it for the uh, side by side. <laughs> 